issue. Mr. and Mrs. Cody Wiggins, and you may kiss the bride. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just finished up a little at-home yoga session. Uh, Brielle's taking a nap, and I figured I would show you guys um, a really quick, easy smoothie recipe that I like to do. Um, I do it for lunch every single day. Just helps refresh you, it's easy, and it's good for you. Um, today I'm going to do a little home decor haul for you. I'm going to show you some pieces that I'm adding to my little home decor shop. And then I figure I could take you along with me and just give you a tour of the shop. So let's get started on the smoothie. I am using uh, the Ninja Smoothie Maker. I love this one. So what I do, I usually do about half a cup of ice. I do a mixed fruit. This one is pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango. So I'll add, usually I'll do about two little hand grabs of fruit. And if you see something else you want to put in there, if you're missing a couple. I, I um, pre-put bananas in the freezer and I break them in half. And I'll put half a banana in there, that way the smoothie isn't too banana flavored. Um, right now I'm using Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Um, they say, I think a serving is two scoops, but um, I notice I don't love the taste if I put too much in there. So what I do is about three quarters of a scoop. I'll put that in there. And that just helps to increase your collagen production, help plump the skin, help with um, joint pain, all of that. Um, I love putting spinach in there. That way I'm getting my greens in for the day. I like to put spinach in with like my eggs too. It's just a great way to um, get your potassium and fiber in your diet. And you really can't taste the spinach in a smoothie. If you want to skip the spinach go ahead and do that um, almond milk and usually I will bring that up to about one and a half water a little bit of that now me I don't like my smoothie so thick I'd rather them more drinkable more of like a watery texture so obviously make it how you prefer it but that is how i've been liking it lately put that on delicious. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick haul for you of some of the home decor that is going into the Brayman Home Shop today. If you don't already know, my husband Cody and I have a vintage home decor shop called Brayman Home. Uh, we sell home decor accessories, um, furniture, rugs, basically everything you would need to make your home beautiful. So I'm gonna show you some things that are going in the shop today and then we will take you along with us to show you how we move things around and what we're putting into the shop. So let's get right into it. We have this ivory textured uh, ginger jar that will be going in. This would be nice on um, a dining room table, on your counter, bookshelf, just like that. I love finding um, vintage antique pieces like this that kind of make your home feel more lived in. Um, we have this uh, delicious homemade candy jar with a cork on top. Thought that was really cool. Could sit on a uh, bunch of books or just stand alone. Just thought that was cool. We have this uh, vintage floral box. I thought this would be cool to decorate on a coffee table. You could put pictures in here, uh, depending on your remote size, maybe you could put remotes in here. Just something cool and different. 
some candlesticks that we have going in the shop today. Uh, we have this matching set right here, which I love. They're very unique. It's almost like this purple shade with a warm yellowy orangish color uh, that will sell. Um, I'm selling them separately, but most people do buy them as a pair. Um, we have a simple crackled gold um, candlestick as well, candle holder. Oh, baby alert. We have my little helper, Brielle, here. She's gonna help us show some home decor. Aren't we, baby? Are we gonna show some home decor? Yeah? Okay, where did we leave off? We showed the candlesticks. Um, we have this antique um, aqua blue goblet. It has a really cool pattern on it. You could throw candy in here. Could just be used for decor again on um, your bookshelves, anything like that. We have this ceramic blue floral um, bread basket. Thought that was really cool and unique. Oven safe and dishwasher safe. I have this, I love this. This is an antique. This is for a candlestick to go in here, lantern style. Thought that was really cool and special. That would look great in an entryway or in a hallway console table. Um, I think that wraps up this portion here. Uh, behind us here, we have this uh, linen canvas, which is a nice neutral color for the walls. Uh, we have this signed artwork piece right here. Uh, it's great use of tones. We have pinks and blues, a little bit of yellow in there, just really special. I love that. And then we also have a cheese platter with wood marble and the glass top. Very nice, good quality. So those are some of the pieces that are going in today. So we're going to go to the shop, we're going to rearrange and decorate, and we're going to take you along with us. It's hot. 